So I'm filling the sprayer here. I'll see how much time I got on my timer. Eight minutes yet. Uh, I think we're gonna be a little bit off on our eight minutes. Or I could be wrong. He said set a timer for an hour and 40 minutes. So that's what I did. So. So I just went and told her to add 10 minutes because I don't think it's gonna get there. I think somewhere in my math I screwed up. Um, with my calculations on how long it should take to uh, fill the thing. So I was conversing with a fellow YouTuber how around the two o'clock hour, I believe it was, and uh, I said to him, I says, you know, he says, you know, I'm out here doing this straw job. I says, I was the one that says first. I says to him, I says, uh, you know, I'm friends with a guy who uh, is a lawn care specialist um, and who mows those government houses or Section 8 houses or whatever. And he said, you cannot believe how many times I have to get on and off my mower to pick up their garbage uh, because they won't. They just sit there and watch me do it. And this fellow YouTuber, he's like, you know, that's, that's funny you mention that. Ouch. It's, uh, because, uh, there's houses down here along this one wheat field that I'm doing. Oh, keepers, creepers. Now watch y'all smack my arm in that thing. And, uh, put them props up there. And he says... He says, you know, the uh, the people that live here, they, they buy these high-end houses and they can't, they just throw their trash on uh, out in th this wheat field. And this farmer, he has, uh, I think they're Mexicans or something. He says, do they get mad at the people for throwing trash out in the, in the field? No. They just go about their merry way. Um, I just, I didn't say anything negative or anything. Um, I just, <clears throat> how this hood go up? But, uh, you know, it got me thinking. I'm like, man, you know, people need to, I'll deal with that later. You know, people need to, uh, you know, wake up and quit being such slobs. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just, whenever I get in one of my moods where I just think, I let whatever I'm thinking come out. <laughs> if that makes sense to anybody. Uh, you know what? I'm actually going to, before I put this thing away, I'm going to just wash the hood of this thing off because... I don't like putting stuff away dirty. I just don't. Ah, uh, so this is 466 engine in the 7800. Um, really, really nice paint job. It could use buff dot again, um, but it it's not as bad as the it's not as bad as the 7800. The 7800 or 7810, I mean. Man. 7810 is just it's all faded out and the the previous owner um that had it, they just we don't know the story of the tractor. They just let the thing They just let the thing sit outside and uh the paint's all faded on it. And it just, it looks like crap. You guys know what I mean by it just, it looks so awful. Or it doesn't look awful. It just, 
there's no shine to it. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but what I think what would have to happen in my mind is you'd have to strip all this down. You have to sand it all down, sand it, primer it, and then start over again, I think. Because honestly, I don't think buffing and waxing would help. I just don't. That's just me being honest though. <laughs> I think you'd have to start all over again. Uh, that's why we keep stuff inside as much as we can to try and preserve the paint. Um, keep the paint shiny so the stuff don't rust. Uh, try to not look down there at the, would be the right hand, left hand corner of your screen. Uh, don't look down there by them tires if you know, if any of you can figure that out. Um, we'll take care of that later. Oops, I didn't realize I got that in the shot. So I think the tractor's warmed up enough. Um, it's hard on them to just it's hard on them to just jump in them and go um, because uh, you got to let the oil and everything warm up in them and uh, but you don't have to let them warm up, warm up long maybe a minute or two oh no Terrible mess. Oh well. It's only water. Now to go up here and, oh boy, pull the hose. Because, for those of you that don't know, if you don't pull the hose when you're filling anything, and yes, I mean anything, the water will siphon back through and make a mess. Or no, it'll siphon back through and then your tank will be empty, which isn't good. Uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna let the stuff build up on here as much as I can help it because I don't want to come time to work on this thing or do maintenance you know time to put it away and uh have all that crap to deal with on it i'm not gonna get carried away soaping it or nothing though just just kind of try and blow it blow some of the shimmers off of it ah uh, i'm just making too much of a mess doing it that way so I God made hands, so you can just pull the crap off. Yuck. I should have just not got this stuff wet. But you gotta get it wet so it don't blow. <coughs> that gone. <coughs> there. Phew. What a mess. Did you got you guys remember me washing this thing last fall? Was it a mess? So 
I'm going to try something new and alleviate some of that work for when it comes time to put the thing away. Now, I know it's not the world's cleanest disc mine, but it's better than it was. It'll just get all schnutzed up again, so we'll, uh, we'll just leave it at that. See what I mean by if you keep stuff inside, how it just, how it just shines? That's what I was mean, talking about. So I know technically you're not supposed to, but I put this curtain up on this thing just so that uh, I can see better backing in. Um, that's just that's just my my personal preference. We can always push around a skid loader later if you don't like it where I put it. It's always easier to unhook stuff than it is than it is to rehook stuff for some reason. And why it is, I don't understand. That PTO shaft alone right there probably. Oh a bag of bag of chicken feed is probably is 50 pound easy so you times that by dead weight uh dead weight being probably five pound or or greater um and then uh you times uh you don't have to times anything that way um, the I know chicken feed a chicken feed bag alone is like what I say 50 pound so that 50 and you add a pound to it because or three because of all the dead weight right here I call this dead weight because it don't do nothing although this is your your CV joint and all this um, got one here one there one in here one back there for when this thing is extended out into working mode that's what uh, that's what a CV joint is need to get two more jacks just like this and it'd help if you went the right way. Because this thing... This thing... It's an okay jack. But... There aren't no... It's a cheap jack. There's no grease fittings on it. Um, like on that one on the brush hog. There was at least one grease fitting on, on it. And I don't really care for the handle that's on this thing and we can do without these tire catchers I'm sorry but they're on there for a reason and that is to protect the paint on the inside but oh well they're just four pieces of metal welded together that's all them things are so the baler's all hooked up to the tractor had to have somebody else hook it up at least back it up for me because it's dark back in here and the dark ground and that silver drawbar I can't it was messing with my vision I could see out to the end of this PTO cover but that was it but it's hooked up So we got the 6120 back. Um, maybe. What the? What the heck? Oh, the forward reverse. Doohickey was. It was, uh. Oh, 
We don't need to be going this fast. Holy cow. Get that thing out of D range. Good grief. Uh, is uh that guy there i am like so threatening to find long pieces of wood and stick in the track here and then slowly start stepping it down so you got a gradual step because it sucks had to bounce over that thing every day of our lives I'd rather bounce over this than have than have dad yell at me over doors that have been broke, that have been beat and crinkled when real heavy winds come through when we shut them during the winter. 